Time again for the Nuffle Shuffle, and it's a Halloween special today. So, uh, <laughs> ooh, so it could be a bit scary today, I'll tell you that now. And with the Great White Shark and everything else circling the place, uh, we've we'll got a lot to talk about. Um, it, 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 obviously, we usually try and do our shows on a Sunday, but obviously, again, this Sunday, <laughs> we had a problem. This time, it was the servers what crashed. But um, we're back today on, on, of all days, Halloween. So there's only one guy I need to cover my back on Halloween. And that is my uh, guest co-announcer today. And that is Bezo. Now then, Bezo, welcome to the show. How are we feeling today, buddy? Good evening, mate. Happy Halloween. Same to you, buddy. How's, how's your yeah. day been? How's your day? Uh, all good. Been at work all day, mate. Been getting beaten up. <laughs> As you do. All good. As you do. Yeah, no, a bit of no. practice. Bit of, bit of boxing practice mate so uh, normal day in the office good. for you then good good normal good day, mate. plenty of fires and a bit of boxing oh there you go you see so anyone who obviously doesn't know Bezo and me we're both from the same city of Hull we're both very good close friends in real life and uh, it took me an age to get him on this bloody show but he's finally here and um, he <laughs> does a, a typical um, Hull lad doesn't pull his punches so expect controversial stuff later on I'm sure because that's how the whole lads yeah. talk. So, um, anybody who has any questions for him... Warned. Yeah. <laughs> Won't do any good, though. Anyone who's got any questions for him, please yeah. feel free to um, ask him. And, um, yes, um, they may be foul language coming ahead because, like I said, is a whole lad, and, uh, yeah, shit's going to go real. Anyway, nah, so... Let's... I don't reckon I've any swearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, let's get on with the show, then, as we always do, and we start off with uh, the pole position... And this is where Triparus will be loving it because um, he's uh, finally got himself to top. So we have to try and uh, say nice things about him. So uh, let's have a look at... Um... <laughs> this will take all of 30 seconds then. <laughs> so um, let's have a look, um, Triparus. Something nice about Triparus. Something nice about Trip. I, I, I have no idea what you're going to say. but uh... Uh, I don't know. I'm stuck. So here we go, Rainy Entertainment. It's Nose, and you know I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. Um, Trip does know how to play Nose. Um, he, he does roll a lot of armor breaks. Like the, uh, he, he reminds me of um Azawain that he just always just rolls hot dice for injuries. Um, what's always a problem, but he does know how to play them. And Gimlick's in the chat now. Then Gimlick, good to see you about, buddy. Um, but what, what yeah. do you what do you think of um, you know this team and um, any strengths weaknesses? It's, it's, mate, it's looking good. Anybody, credit to anybody who keeps a, a team like this going with Armour 7 all over the place and building good players like he has. He's, he's a great coach. You can't take nothing away from him. Um, once his luck runs out, he's screwed, though, isn't he? <laughs> That's it, isn't he? The lucky. I've, I've said to him before, Tripras is a lucky bugger, I'll tell you. Uh, lots uh, of candidates in that game, that yeah. Just, yeah go on. Mate, not that I've just played him or anything, but he did manage no. a, a six-plus cage dodge. Into, to stop me scoring in the last turn, which was a bit annoying. That that'll be about that's about trip. Trip knows yeah, best. But, nah, cracking team. I can't really see many weaknesses. Um, it could do with like a, an Agi four ball carrier, maybe. Yeah. But you know, he's he's built a nice team. He knows what he's doing. Trip. So he does. Trip knows best. Um, as 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 the saying is, and um, yeah, I mean he's got a might blow up piling on piece there as well. Oh, God, yeah. there's two of Lovely them. Lovely Yeti, and... that Yeti is, uh, yeah, is looking tasty. If he could roll block now or something with that Yeti, then... Yeah, I, wow. I, always, I always talk to him about it, and um, I always think his biggest weakness is he always seems to blitz with his Yeti, and um, the, the amount of times um, the Yeti uh, fails is scary. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's might yeah. blow up and close, so I get it, but um, I, I do think he relies a lot on... Um, it, it's on, nice on not to rely on blitzing on your big guy, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, because obviously with it not having block as well, both downs and roller ones and that, and you know, but obviously when he does hit, you know, the thing is, but there is a secret. There is a secret, um, especially in the playoffs. If you ever come against Norse, start calling it a hippie, the a hippie, and it starts just just doesn't stop doing anything. <laughs> we've we've noticed this every time we play, every time we've announced a, a game about Norse, we start saying the the uh, Yeti is a hippie, you know, like football chanting. And all of a sudden, crazily scary as it does, it starts going wild animal and starts doing nothing. Uh, me, me, me and I Jess mean, did that a few seasons ago to Dana's uh, Yeti, and we did it last season, I think, to, to uh, Trips as well. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's a curse. Yeah. So yeah, he's not he's not to be messed with. He's uh, seventeen matches, seventeen casualties inflicted. He's done four deaths. Um, he's not to be messed with. No, no. 
No, I mean it, it needs a good kick to the face and and well, a yeah, quick, as a quick all, yeah, death he's really. Yeah. Um, he's yeah. got to die. Uh, Yet yeah, he's always do well against me. I'll kick the crap out and they just won't die. Um, so yeah. I I go to the to the chance of he's a hippie and it uses him to work. Um, Fair play. But yeah, I mean it's a good team. It's it, it's not it's it, it's it's built to kill, and um, yeah. Trip will tell you that his teams are always built to kill, built to bash. Um, because he says yeah. block is the best bashy skill and obviously he adds mighty blow piling on the only thing I would say yeah. looking at this team uh, where's the tackle yeah that's true yeah you know there's no tackle in this team and um, you know you can anything healthy or skinky yeah, or, or scaven. anything stunty yeah he's, he's in a bit of bother isn't he I mean I, I appreciate because yeah. obviously I, I'm building case at the moment and obviously um uh, even even with even with, uh, with chaos, you you can you you have to do building blocks. Like uh, tackle was the last thing I got for yeah. my team as well. So it's you're finding a struggle. place in it for tackle. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, I think, think... You'll, you'll see a lot of his linemen will get tackle because there's not many. Yeah, I the think linemen. maybe one of his ulf awareness should have maybe gone down a different route. Mm. Um, maybe even a break tackle on him and tackle or something like that, just to have that piece where if he is tied up, he can still yeah do some yeah. damage maybe, but. Yeah, it's all about the bash with trip, isn't it? All yeah, or the, the berserker. Bash. Maybe I maybe want to took sidestep on the berserker. I maybe took tackle instead of sidestep. Does he yeah. need sidestep? Not really. He's not got diving tackle. Yeah, uh, yeah. To me, it's... I think I think tackle on that maybe. Yeah, I think I think looking at the team, that is a glaring weakness, isn't it? It it's it's yeah. the, it's no tackle. And if you're a Skaven player or you're an elf player and you you come against this team, you'll be concerned yeah. about obviously the mighty blow and all that sort of stuff. But then you'll be thinking, thank God for that. There oh is yeah. Very. There's, in fact, there's, there is no tackle, and that that is the weakness. Um, yeah, I'd be happy playing against these with, with lizards. I think I'd be uh, I won't be won't be concerned about coming across these. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I said, it's a good team. And like I said, I'm a big fan yeah, when I good. am. I am a really big fan of Trip when he plays um, Norse because I think he plays them yeah. really, really well. And um, hats off to anyone who gets Norse this high up. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, Norse have a really good, um, really good history in the playoffs as well. They they're one of the most successful teams, believe it or not. I mean, as a win, the two time champion, he is actually um, Norse at the moment. He he knocked out the top seed um, yesterday. So um, Norse right. always seem to have good VPOV. He's done fant- I think he got to a semi-final did VPOV as well with ah. Norse. So there's there's been plenty of times when Norse have been really good. It's just that I think you have to be certain yeah. type of coach to to do something with yeah. them. Um, They're on borrowed time out as well. I'm a seven year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is That's that is is that white with you? No, Gimlick. It is Bezo. Bezo's with me. My, oh, uh, my yeah. He thought you was Wyatt. So you sound Welsh. Um, so that might post Queen Gidrin Dobo Santa Celio go go go. There you go, whatever she said. <laughs> um, now then, um, so yeah, so I think it's a good team, and like I say, I would like to see the Norse um get through to the playoffs because I do think it plays yeah. them really, really well. I, I really do. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, it's struggle not to make the playoffs now with these, really. Well, you say Can't that, but. Anybody. I mean, it, I mean, there's a cut point. It's the 20th of uh, November, so he's got, you've got a long time for someone to take over. The problem is, not many people play Norse, and that's that's nah, basically. And he needs the... two people to well, he needs three people to take over him, doesn't he? Yeah. So he's so, he's up there, and he's he's looking yeah, good. Yeah, he's looking good, and obviously he's got the junk food Nagel team to keep him busy as well. But I think on the two teams, he'll, he'll go with Norse. To be yeah. fair, uh, but there you yeah. go. So yeah, well done to Trip. He's finally got himself to the top. Yeah, well done, Trippy. Yeah. So well done, Sunshine. So now then, um, let's have a look at what I've got to ask you. So let let's get to know about the coach. Obviously, I know about the coach, but some people might not know. So um, now then, Bezo, what made you play Blood Bowl, and how long have you been playing it for? Ooh, you made me start playing Blood Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember I popped to your house after we had a cricket game one day. Um, yeah, on the PC. We used to play cricket together, obviously, didn't we? We um, did. We started we playing did. on the PC. Um, fell in love with my uh, chosen race straight away. Um, yeah. Just that was it. You got me going. I've never played tabletop or anything like that, but you uh, you got me onto it and uh, not really looked back since. That probably it must have been 15 years ago, 14 years God, ago. Was it that long ago? Probably going back that long, mate. Yeah. Oh man, I'm think... so old. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know what? I don't. I don't think I was in the fire brigade when I met you. Um, so 
Crikey. <laughs> it's going back some time, mate. I think we I was are, mate. 18, 18 we are. 19. Crikey. And what, are you about 50 now, aren't you? So that's 32 time now. <laughs> 32. Well, uh, I've only got nine years on I'm not going to so. ask how old you are. But... Hey, everyone knows who I am. I'm 41. I don't care. You know, I'm 41. You are with 41. A, with a mental age of about 10. Um, yeah, but, yeah. you've had a rough day <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was. It was. These council estates were really rough, you know. But, uh, yeah, I, I, mate, I, yeah, you, you got me uh, You got me going, mate, didn't you? So, yeah, yeah. It, it was my little plan one. You knew. Absolutely, yeah. and that's, oh, why yeah. so, that's why it's so good. That's why it's so good. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> so, Obviously, um, my chosen race is Lizards. Yep, and I'm just going to ask you, um, what is your favourite race and why? So we know your favourite race is Lizards, but why is it your favourite race? I just think they've got a good mix of bash and scoring, if I'm honest. I think they cover all bases. Um, you strength four guys, strength five crocs, and then you got I know, fragile skinks, but your skinks can get stuff done. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm quite aggressive with my skinks, I've always have been, really. Um, I like to mark players up with them, I like to get them involved, and I just like the fact that you, you can do stuff with them. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the only thing what puts me off about them, and, and, and now obviously Kislev have joined in the, the race as well, is anything what leaps into the cage, because only strength two. Um, and it's just, I always think it's like, oh, thanks for the ball, lads, jumps in, smacks him out, and then the ball goes loose, and I mean, that's, that's yeah, the only kids, thing I don't like about them. a nightmare at the minute. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But well, then you can't have all that strength four and then a little strength three team players, can you? So no, it's... no. I mean, they have to balance it out, I suppose. So. Yeah, well, you, you like... can't. There's, there's teams around now you can't defend. You can't defend against vampires if they get what they need. You mm-hmm. can't defend, defend against kids left when they get what they want. It's... Yeah. But yeah. it's one of them things, isn't it? It has the strength advantage if you can get players out of the way. They're hard to level up. It's frustrating early on with lizards yeah um but once you get them like dino rock that team i've got are uh, yeah i like them they're crushed to them so yeah i mean that, that, that's just it. There, it? I, I just think you know the i mean obviously you you defensively <laughs> you're, you're pretty sound playing um lizards and I, I mean like i said i do play lizards as much as as you but obviously probably one of my best um records in defense is with lizards i don't know why i think it's it's, it's the case of maybe the the beef of the saurus and crocs up front and then the yeah. the skinks because they can get to anywhere and if they've got like sidestep diving tackle they can be pain in anyone's yeah. backside so um yeah. do you know what not a lot of people well people do use it but i think the best thing in a lizard armor is break tackle by well you know by what any i like. means yeah. i think break mm. tackle is just a must for lizards yeah, you've got to um, you've got to to me you've got to have two or three at least with break tackle. Yeah, it digs you out the shit all the time. Um, it's not something I like to put on my big guy, but if the option's there and I don't get any of the decent rolls, I'll put it put it on the crocs. Yeah, yeah I think but, the thing I think the thing with that is because you've got low net and you know every time you go break tackle yeah, on a big guy or with it yeah, you're gonna roll crucial. him. On. Yeah. yeah, it's great to get his tail in there and. But you know he's going to fail it. I'll get a one, then you screwed for the reroll as well. And yeah, I, I don't I, want to rely on him for big players. I, I I like the idea of using a Soro, splitting this corner of a cage, then getting him to yeah. park himself when the cage is broken. We stand firm, yeah. we print tail, you know, and um, yeah. uh, even diamond tackle just for the win. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean a lot a lot of my wins have been one nils and two nils. Like I say, I pride yeah. myself on my defence rather than my attack. I'll yeah. score early, as you know, and yeah. See what back your defense. Yeah. yeah. Is is there um, any team you struggle to play against or struggle to play as as a coach? Man, I hate vampires. Hate playing against vampires. They absolutely do my tits in. <laughs> I hate them. I can't do anything. They just every time I play them, there's just a lack of bloodlust. They manage to just wipe my cage out. Hypnotic gears everybody in my cage and just smash my skinks to bits. I can't stand them. Yeah, I, um, I, re- I remember you saying, and actually it would have been then, Halloween as well. Vampires on yeah, Halloween. Do you, know giving you... Oh, do you know what? I hate these. They're really annoying. I'm going to try and play with them. It was just bloodlust after bloodlust after yep. bloodlust. I had five, I think five times in, I had more vampires than Thrall's on the pitch. <laughs> it was <wasn't> good. <laughs> so, not playing with them. And then, and I, on top of that, I don't do anything elf. Anything elf. I, I don't, I've not even got the elf teams on, on Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've tried to convince I've, I've tried to convince you to play elves because but you, just, yeah. you, you just won't have it. And like, you know, you've been going through a bad, bad run of form with, with the, obviously the dice and with Nuffle with your lizards. And I'm saying, just try elves. Just try something different. You're like, nope, nope, don't play elf. 
And um, obviously, no, we, we, you've, well. you've tried. Look at yeah. me as a person. I'm not an elf. No. No, 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 that's, that's true. I mean, like I said, uh, I think you'd enjoy them, though. I really do. I think you'd do really well, but yeah. it's, it's just trying to convince you to play them. I might try one day. I might try. You know, so... Uh, I just think yeah. I'll just roll ones all the time, so it's pointless me having dodgy stuff, so I might as well just not dodge and hit stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I do enjoy Nurgle as well. I do really enjoy playing Nurgle, to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah. But again, I, early on, the tough. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, is, is, is there anything you'd dislike or like about Blood Bowl? Is there anything you'd change if it was up to you, or...? Uh, no, do you know what? I think the communities are good. I think there's that many about, and it's it's a building game. I, I do think, I mean, everybody moans about it. I do think sometimes the dice just ruin the game for people. Hmm. Um, you can't do anything about it. It's a dice game. It's a luck game. And you can't, but it, a lot of games, some of them are decided on skill, which is it's unfortunate in a game like this. Yeah. But do you know what? The, the good coaches should shine through eventually. Well, yeah, um, I mean, but... and that, that's it, isn't it? I mean, me, me and you will just, we, I mean, obviously, we talk to each other every day, and, like, we, we both bitch, mm. like bitches, really. I mean, but oh, God. the times we bitch, but... three, we, four weeks, yeah. mate. Yeah. Oh, I've never moaned so much in my life, and that's... I've never heard you moan so much in your life. No, uh, no, I mean, mm. it, I mean, uh, like, it's getting better for me now, but like I said, a lot of times, it's like, we'll bitch about it, but we'll still win or draw, and we'll still be in a foul mood about it, but that's it. I mean, like, the Azza wins, oh, yeah. um... The you know the um, um, who else can we who else shall I pick demented them sort of guys they they still get it done even with bad dice uh, and then some sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yeah. do whatever is humanly possible and you still lose but it's a dice game so it, sometimes dice are going to yeah. affect the game and if someone's rolling elevens for armor breaks and then falling up with a ten for injuries and stuff like that there's nothing yeah. you can do and it is it, it is no, I mean played... it is it, it is annoying. Yeah, we've all been through. I mean, I played Goblins about five or six games ago, and I made I made four armor breaks all game. Yeah, and that's with a lot of pals on Goblins. I had two lizards. One died. One got injured. One skink died. Three other skinks got injured. And you think, what on earth can I do? Yeah. Um, but it happens to everybody, and everyone yeah. goes through the same runs. Everybody moans about dice, and it's probably, apart from FIFA, it's probably the most annoying game I've ever played. And yeah, yet it's I, probably one of the greatest. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would agree with that. I, I, I would sort of say it's worse than FIFA, or to me, oh, it mate, is. I've, I've smashed two controllers this season playing Blood Bowl. I don't mind telling yeah. anybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that, so, that seems to be an Xbox thing because <laughs> on the Xbox, obviously, I'm in their community as well. They they like shows me pictures of the, their Smash controllers, yeah, and man, it's like it you know, it's oh, it's it, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. But this is what the, this is what the game can do. This is what the game can do. It can mm. make you get angry and stuff like that, and it is frustrating. Yeah. And especially yeah. when you especially when you get it, each you know, like over and over and over again because you think to yourself oh, yeah, you know yeah. it's it's going to change but it but it hasn't it for me and you i mean i suppose for me now it, it's getting a bit better but obviously yeah. for you you know you have been struggling and obviously when you have I been just, and, I, and i don't want to turn into one of them dice moaning people mm. i don't um and I, I still i still enjoy playing the game and that but the, the last two weeks have been the most frustrating couple of weeks in blood bowl for me uh i mean i've won a couple of games on the bounce now with my lizards in this in the ladder but just I me mean, in the last game alone I should have won that barring uh, barring a six plus miracle which happened and couldn't score and it's just frustrating. Deaths I've had I think I've had four or five Saurus killed in this team. Yeah. Um and don't know how many skinks. I lost my star skink to a go for it dead and Apo did dead as well and everyone goes through it mate and I'd like yeah. to say I don't want to get into a, a state of moaning about well, dice because it happens to everyone. I mean it's, it's my God, as... it pisses you off. It does. I mean, it's like it's like the full moon killers. I lost nine wolves. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, mate. It's unbelievable. It, it, it wasn't like I was like saying hit me or anything. I just lost them. Yeah. Um. There's uh, there's, there's a few interesting things in chat. Um. Gimlick, which uh, lizard team you play in? Which coach? And uh, Cinemouse has come up with something really really good. He says I'm top flings, but closely chased by a two and oh fling team. Hate that I feel like I can't play them as <laughs> I lose my place. Now then, this was caught. Uh, it's good that someone's mentioned this because this was, and I hope I don't get sh shot for this. 
in, in the admin department, obviously, I'm an admin for the PS4, and we obviously talk with Nethos and everybody else in there. And one thing Cyanide wasn't happy was with uh, was with teams qualifying with records of four and zero and stuff like that. And yeah. obviously, as admins, we were saying, look, the reason people don't play them is because, especially with halflings, goblins, where they're not very un- oh yeah, underrepresented and yeah. Yeah. But but the thing is, the depth. If if you're a three and zero, and you're top, you dare play again because you know it's hard to win oh, with them. Okay, exactly. Yeah. And that's what yeah. Cinema House is saying. And um, th- they are looking into maybe season eleven. We might be having a minimum games cap. So maybe right, like yeah. at least ten games. So that means even every halfling, goblin player, ogre player will have to play at yeah, least ten yeah. games. It's yeah. something they're going to have to look at because I know for a fact. It, they're not happy with it, but as we've said, it's not the coach's fault because the coach is, like Cinema House no. said, it's, he wants to play and develop his team. And in my opinion, if you if you have to play, if everybody has to play at least 10 games, then Cinema House will be able to say, you know what, I'm going to play the 10 games knowing that every other halfling coach has yeah, to play that. Yeah. And that is what we are looking for. And Gimlik, I oh yeah, I've, I, I, I've never played him, but I've seen that name come up a lot. So um, yeah. you'll have to let me know if he's any good. There's, there's only... There's only three teams in the top 26 that haven't played 10 games. So, it's, like you say, it's your highly yeah. represented races anyway. And yeah. As soon as you it, go down to goblins and stuff like that, you're scared out of you playing them. And... Yeah, and and, and, that, and that's the right thing because, like I said, you know, it, it's usually the goblins, like I said, or the um, the halflings. And, and I, I understand why the coaches don't want to do it. We, we had a, an ogre coach mm. who would, had a good record, and if he'd left it there, he would have qualified instead of Segal. But he tried to develop yeah. the team, and boom, he lost the game, and then he was behind Segal, and then he was trying to yeah. play catch-up, he lost a few more, and he didn't, yeah, he didn't make yeah. it. Then and you lose and, players. And... And, and this is this is, this is is why. So that is something we're looking at. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but it's something a lot of us admins uh, want to try out is um, next season is to try and get at least 10 games because 10 games isn't much for people to play in six weeks. So um, yeah, yeah. That, that's what we're trying to do. And then we're hoping then like the halfling coaches, the yoga coaches, the goblin coaches yeah. will at least be able to try and develop the team at least a little bit without yeah. being worried. Not, not only that, mate, it works both ways because... The other halfling coach or the other goblin coach has to play ten games. Exactly. So it's not just you're not just yourself thinking, oh, mm-hmm. I'm getting screwed on here. I've got to play ten games with this team. Yep. So as your next person says, you know, they aren't going to win all the games with goblins. They aren't going to win all the games with halflings. They yep. are. So you're going to build your team up better, play ten games with them, get a bit few more level ups. Yeah. You, your team's going to be in a better state, and you're still going to make the playoffs. So it's it's, it's, it's a win-win. Thing. I think the ten game thing is very good. I think it's a yep. good idea. Yeah, I mean that that that's what that's that's what I've 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 recommended. Uh, I I got to go into because obviously there's there's various debates and it would be unfair for me to go in what everyone's been saying. But I am a strong believer that if we can get the ten game um, th- uh, philosophy, because most players are going to be uh, almost every team what qualifies for the playoffs has played at least ten games. It's very yeah. very rare. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think even when I, like I went, I mean, sorry, even when I went with Brett, I think there was that was six games, so that won't fire off the ten anyway. But that's the only yeah. time I can think of. So, I mean, that that's something we're looking at, and I think um, the halfling coaches and the goblin coaches, they they'll be happy. I would hope they'd be happy with that because then it gives them a bit of a freedom of being able to play them yeah. and taking a few losses. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think it'd be a good thing to bring in, mate. That I really do. Yeah. Right, final question in in this thing is, um, what who do you think is the best star player, and who is your favourite star player, and why? Who do I think? Mm. Uh, it depends who I'm playing against. Um, obviously playing with lizards, it depends. If I'm against a low sort of a low armor team, I do like Hemlock. I mm, really do like yeah. him as a player. Um, obviously he's got stab. I think he's great. I think he's a great little player. Um, but against other teams where the high armor, he's completely useless. Mm, yeah. um, but he has been a he has been a, a game changer for me on a couple of occasions. Um, so I'll probably go with him to be honest. Yeah, I must admit, I had uh, I was playing on the Xbox against a, a good friend of mine, and um, I I was playing Case Dwarfs, and he got Dark Elves, and he 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 he, he hired staff player that guy with the stabby things. I was like, oh my god, is this something I don't know? Because I'm like Armanan, 
and he's getting this um, yeah. Hubris, and he wants Hubris Rackarth, he's on the heart ripper or something. And I was like, okay, yeah. I'm Abanan, and you're going to try and stab me. Um, but yeah, that was a bit strange. But like you said, against like low armored, um, like AB7, they're, they're, yeah. they're fantastic. I mean, Sib Sibley's a beast. If I can afford Sibley, and the, it, it's just hard because like you already got six strength four Saurus and a Crocs. So getting another beast in like that maybe ain't needed, but he, Sibley's cracking. Um, I do I do like Sibley as well. Um, yeah. He's expensive in it, 250 thou, but he's got block, he's got grab, he's got guard, he's got stand firm. I mean, you can't really grumble at that, can you? No, no. Um, I mean, the thing is as well, is obviously when you've got Sibley, that means usually you've got seven Soros and a Croxigo. I mean, that is yeah, an immense yeah. um, amount of firepower. Is, yeah. Um, and that, that's a good but, thing. I mean, that that, that well, also brings that you're going to have less skinks on the pitch. Um, if you've got seven Saurus and a Crocs, you've only yeah. got three skinks on the pitch, which yeah. is a big no-no because you're not going to score if you lose your skinks. Um, yeah. And not only really... that, I think it it stops a bit of defensive threat. If, you, if you've got Sibley and you've only got three skinks, them skinks are annoying to get in at people. If you haven't mm. got your five skinks on the pitch to stop people scoring, I think you are going to struggle defensively. Um, in attack, great. Seven Saurus in attack is fantastic. But if you haven't got enough skinks on the pitch, you ain't going to score and you ain't going to defend well. So uh, see, I see. I would disagree with that. I would. I would be liking mm. the philosophy that it, the less skinks have got on the pitch, the, the harder it is for them to remove them. And this is where break mm. tackle comes in because if you've got like three of the guys break tackle, they can do the same sort of job as a, a skink almost. Yeah, yeah. And they're a lot yeah. stronger. But again, it's, it's early on that. It's early on that, isn't it? Early mm. on, I think you need your skinks. But yeah, in attack, great. Seven Soros and a Crocs in attack, win-win, brilliant. But yeah, I just think in defence. I think you just need them extra few annoying little skinks with a bit of sidestep dive tackle. Yeah. Just to really get on your on your tits and get in the way. Now then Messi flush kind of a big deal. Messi flush is in the chat now then Messi. Glad you can join Mercy. us. Mercy. So um yeah, I mean uh, it, it is what it is. I I think that they are quite immense and obviously Slibly he is one of the most uh, popular he's he's not I wouldn't say as popular as Willem Cheney because obviously you know, everyone seems to get him, but obviously for lizards, I think Slibley is the most um, favorite, mm. popular one. I think so. Anyway, yeah, see, I can't remember what can't remember yeah. what that Will and Cheney has. I've not used him before. Uh, but... Strength four oh, werewolf he's good. with claw. yeah, he's got yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah, frenzy claw wrestles. You know, all the shebang. Mm. So, yeah. um, let, what I want to do, I mean, obviously, I don't know how much you've been looking into this, but I want to go into. Obviously, we've got the uh, the playoffs off on the moment um season now playoffs we've just done the first round and um yeah well done to all the ps4 coaches because um you know we, we, we we're not missing about we've got to the second round already um the poor xbox lot haven't even started yet they've got 32 tickets done yet so um that tells you how good the <laughs> ps4 crew we're doing so well done to the admins uh mercy flush and everyone else um so now we're going to the the second uh, round uh teddy tom or mystic ted we found out he's a fraud he said the lemons or oh, lemons would win the full thing and they went out first round they crashed out horribly hmm. um and i think it was to actually it was actually to mercy flush who, who, who knocked them out so uh there we go. Who was that? What team was that? Uh, Nagel uh, knocked out the Skaven. So, uh, Mercy right. Flush is playing What was the Skaven Nagel. team called? I can't remember now. Uh, they were called Lemons. Like the like Lemons. Lemons, yeah. Where you put on your pancakes. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah, it was, was it Hospice Heroes it played? It was, yes. yes. Like that one, yeah. 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 So, um, so, not very good. And obviously, the, the champ, he, he, he went crashing out as well, unfortunately. His dice did, didn't... Um, what went very yeah, good. Yeah, I remember I uh, had the pleasure of commenting on that game. <laughs> you did, you did, so you know about that one. Uh, the the yeah. big the biggest cock up of the week though, and um was the Nightwings and Shagrath who decided to um snatch the jaws of victory into defeat with um running yeah, off with I'd running off that. with a ball and I was like I just can't he did say afterwards he was absolutely paralytic drunk, so that might have had something to do with it. But um, you know, yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, don't know. And um, obviously the case of finishing top struck again as Red Bull um, with Robin De Zone crashed out two one to the Norse. So the top seed yet again goes out first round. So no surprise mm. there. But the the schedule yeah. for round two looks pretty good. There's some good games there. Um, Rotastical, yeah, yeah. the um, who's Mutties and Xbox coach, he's come all onto PS4. He's doing well. He's against Lexington D's Flash Force, 
Um, I think he'll win that one. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think he's Who did you draw? You've got Mighty Blows useless, haven't you? Yeah, so I, I, when I when I did the preview, I looked at who I didn't want to play. It was like, I don't want to play Gimlick, and I drew him first up. I didn't want to play Durren. I've got him next. And the other coach I didn't want to play <laughs> was, was Trip. So if by some bloody miracle I get past them, um, Durren, there's a good chance to get Trip. So yet again, I mean, yeah. I, I've been in nine playoffs, and I'm yet to get a, 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 a draw where it suited me. You know, I mean, all yeah. coaches, when you get to this level, are very good. But the thing is, there's, there's certain teams, mm. my teams are better off than others. And obviously, the season 10 yeah. McKay's team, I'm trying to cover all bases, tackle, guard, killing, you name it, agility yeah. for the lot. So whoever I go against, I've got yeah. no weakness. So I, um, I remember having a look at Durham's, I had a good look at Durham's team a bit ago. It's, it's Orcs, isn't it? Yeah, it is, He's yeah. He's making sure. Um, yeah. I seem to remember him having loads of guard. He does um, seven, seven. Like, and he's... Was it yeah, five or seven? Piece. Yeah, seven. he's got a load of guard, and he's got, but he's got an anti four piece that's carrying an injury. I can't remember what else he's got, but yeah, yeah, that needs that that needs to die. It's called calcium cast. So um, oh that... well, yeah, say no more. Yeah. Uh, I've I've um, put a put a bounty on it already. So um... yeah, no problem. But if I'd have done that, I'd have tried to get in it and yeah. It. So um, yeah, so but, move, yeah. A um, movement for... yeah, I, do, I remember he has a he has a good teammate, but I think I'd have to go for you on that one if I'm honest. I, 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 he's already turned around and said it's a done deal. They're through. It's a buy for him. Uh, he will probably have a wizard as well. That's the problem. Uh, so I've got to somehow uh, mm. get round seven guard and the wizard. So he is right. He, yeah. he, he, he will be favourite to win it. But you know, nobody yeah. give me a chance against Gimlick, and he, and he's the champ, and his team's scary. So yeah, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll, side, yeah. I'm used to being up against it against my worst matchup. So we'll give it a go. And like yeah. I said. I am. Um, what will be will be, but um, yeah, the wizard will be yeah. a problem to be honest. Um, is yeah, there any yeah. other um, matches you're looking forward to there? Or any, any, you know? I don't know. You know, mummy issues. Mm. Um, I quite enjoy what he's a bit. He's from Blood and Tears as well, isn't it? and uh, he is Patrick Riot. Yeah, I just I think he's got a really good team. I remember having a little bit of a nosy at his team. Um, He's got a strength for a goal, hasn't he? Um, so I'm trying to get it up now on the screen somewhere. He's a strength for a goal and a movement eight goal, I think. Um, but he's got a lot of piling on. He's got break tackle on both his mummies as well. Very I nice tell, little team. I tell, I tell you what, though. The TV value is huge. 2,160. Oh, yeah. 2,160, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a lot. But that's, that is a game I'd like to try and watch uh, for sure. It does look like a, a good game to watch that. Yeah, I mean that's 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 something. But you know, it's been it's, it's been a bit frustrating because we we haven't really um, streamed as many as, as we've liked. Um, Durham um, streamed a few games, so he's going to stream a few. Trip needs to get his uh, backside into game, start streaming a few as well. And um, obviously, yeah. I, I try and stream when I can as well. So it, it it's always good to get the mm. games streamed so people get to watch yeah. them because they're always exciting. Nine times out of yeah. ten. Yeah, I mean he's. <laughs> He's gonna, he's, Dave's gonna get nearly a million to spend. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, the TV's twelve ninety, so it, that's just ridiculous. He can buy who he wants, when he wants. Thing, that's thing gonna is, be a good game. The thing is, though, he can only afford two star players. So, I mean, the thing is, if he doesn't take Griff Orbewald, then he deserves to go out because Griff Orbewald well, yeah, is yeah, a legend. Griff's a game changer. And oh. He's either a game changer or he just does nothing, but more than often he's a game changer. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to have Griff. Hashtagging Griff we trust. Um, always. Yeah. Me, me and Griff are good mates. We, we uh, hang out and all that, as you know. Um, yeah, but, but, yeah. He's going to have 900,000 to spend, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's some yeah. serious cash. Yeah, Dave, Dave's a good coach as well, so uh, he'll yeah, do Yeah, but well. yeah, I'd like to watch that game if I can. Yeah. So, right then, let's let's talk about a few things, what's been going on in the world of Blood Bowl. It, it's Halloween night, so let's start off with something scary. Now then, um, Calcium Cass, a.k.a. has proclaimed himself the Great White Shark. He's obviously claims to be the best, um, the scariest. Let's start with something scary. Well, I'm just, I, I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I, I was trying to think of someone who thinks he's scary. And... Um, you know, he says, um, you know, everyone's going to die, all, all, all men's and fairy stuff. And the, obviously the guy uh, is not short confidence. Um, I know you've played him before. What we want to mm. know, though, Blazo, is the hype real? Is he that scary to play against? Is there any kids listening to this? I don't think so. But there is a warning <laughs> if there is. No, I just, I don't know. I don't get all the hype. 
he, I don't know whether it's a character he puts on or whether he's just a bell end in life. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just I don't know. Can't wear the kid up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said, he, he has come across to me and said it's more banter than anything else. But it always comes across to me as like, um, you know, oh, I mean, he's the then, saltiest oh. person ever. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I my, my thing on on Carlton Cass is I'm sure in real life is a nice guy, but oh, definitely, if, yeah. When when he loses. He's awful. He, awful. He is a first class bell end when he's losing. In and when a... he's winning he's all laughy and jerky and saying yep. he's like the best player in the world and when he's losing he's just not. Yeah. But we all go through moaning and but nobody's as, as confident or as big headed as that, I suppose. So. Yeah, I mean like I said, I mean we we all have bad games, but I've I don't think I've ever insulted a, a coach. Ever. You know, no, not, because at the, end of, at the end of the day, it's dice, and that, and 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 that's basically it. Yeah, um, I've certainly never threatened to beat anybody up or out. Well, that was just silly. That was just silly. Um, I mean, yeah. that that was the final straw for me, to be honest. Um, mm. and it's just of uh, at the end of the game. At the end of the day, it's a game. That's all it mm. is. And um, yeah, when you when you start saying you're going to go around beating people up if you see them in the street or at a blood ball convention, that is very poor. Um. Mm. And, yeah, you know, I'd have been there quick as a flash, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I do have plenty of bodyguards, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm looking in that respect. Um, but, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's an interesting debate because I, I was talking to one of the best players on the console, Space Magic W, on the Xbox, and I said, do we mm-hmm. need, do we? I mean, I'll ask this to the, to the, the forum as well. Do we need like a heel character in the championship? Because I was like, if it's done right like you know they're doing wrestling then i ain't got a problem for it because i think yeah, it does you I, need a you need a bad guy don't you yeah because the xbox they rally they rally around and uh, if Cass loses the rest of the xbox no i mean he, he got beat yesterday three one and everyone was like half five in the guy who beat him and there was all fantastic and um, lord jagonius aka ben Buffon, was knighted um, uh, mm. Lord Jagonius said, so I said Jagonius the Castlayer uh, when he knocked him out of the uh, the cup the mm. season before, and uh, you know, I, yeah, I do remember I, that. I, uh, yeah, so it's like in a way, it's good that he brings everybody else against, and it's always good to have a villain. I just think where he goes wrong is is when he starts insulting people. That's yeah, it's that it's that fine line between being a villain and being a dickhead, and he's not yeah. got that line right. He's, yeah, um, and and that's it because he said to me, I mean. He said, "Look, it's banter, but it's like, yeah, but to me, you know, and I, I, I used to talk to him a lot. I, I don't it's get banter. I can't separate. It. I, I just can't tell. It's the difference. banter until he's getting it, because yeah. I, I tried giving him some banter on one of his twitches once, and he banned me from the twitch. And I, I didn't say anything nasty. I didn't say anything aggressive. It was, it was coming out with something like, I'm not out there just to kill everybody's team, and I don't want to see players die. Where I've he- heard him cheer, and purposely go out to kill players and kill teams. So it's." You just can't say it, and I, I sort of called him on it, and he kicked me off his Twitch. So. Yeah, what, what's 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 what you never, gotta do? What's never good is it? I mean, that that that's basically it. Um, I remember again, it was Shod. Uh, he, he had an issue with the way Shod scored his touchdown in the playoffs, and he did a zigzag or something, and he was going, mm-hmm. he was calling him a dickhead or what? He was calling him something not very nice. And I said to him, I said, look, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but when you played Duran in the playoffs and you basically pitch cleared him you actually put a smiley face he put a smiley face face. yeah Yeah. and then scored which don't get me wrong that is funny but don't moan when other people do stuff similar back to you and he wasn't even similar it was just it was just a zigzag don't get me wrong right if i got the if i got the chance i would do a 10 16 touchdown foul on him if i got the chance yeah not a problem yeah (laughs) not a problem the same as if I had a lightning bolt left and I was 3 nil up, I would zap the shit out of the best thing on the pitch. Yeah. Because I would. And yeah. you know what I mean? It, it, I thought it, the smiley face thing was funny, but it don't was moan funny. if someone else does it. It was funny. I don't think Durant thought it was funny. But, um... <laughs> You've got to see the funny side of that. But then that's the that's the side between that is funny and that's being a villain. But then moaning yeah. when someone else does it, that's the side yeah. that you need to get yeah. right. Because I, I thought when Cass did it, I thought it was a masterstroke. I really did. I thought it was hilarious. I was, and I was pissing myself. Apparently, Durant Dur- didn't think it was that funny, but apparently that was funny because he didn't think it was funny. So I get that, and, and, and that sort of stuff from a bad guy is great. And that sort of stuff, I you know, it's great to have a bad guy. It's when you start... You it know, is, mate. It like, is. Like, it's, I mean, that, it's the line between, like I said, 
bad guy and dickhead. And the, the like I said, the annoying thing is is when people have a go back at him, he goes bonkers. Or he, or he goes oh, running, yeah, or yeah. he goes running to serious jest, saying his personal insults allowed, and it's like. The only person who shouldn't be even saying that is you, because. But to him, when he says it's banter, when other people say it to him, it is. Yeah, mate. And, it's. You know. It's like the job I'm in. If you can't take banter, then Don't you're done it. for. Yeah. You're, you're done for, mate. You got to take a joke. You got to take a laugh. You get the piss taker out here, day in, day out, where I work. And if you yeah. can't take it, that's when you got a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like you say, the old adage you don't give if you can't take is probably sums this one up, I think. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's a shame because, like I said, um, I think he's a real nice guy and I'll stick up for him and say, I think he's a, he's a nice guy when he's not playing Blood Bowl yeah. or when he's not losing. Same. Oh, definitely. When he's not I've losing. I've chat with him and I've spoke to him, yeah. Uh, but when he's losing, I mean, he said himself he's, the, he's probably the worst loser in the game, but it's, oh, I mean, yeah. he, he, he comes across with it's some really crazy stuff like, oh, you're, you're scared to play me. Oh, yeah, you know, and yeah. stuff like that, and it's like uh, I've got a good record against him, mate. But it's not that; it's just a game. I, I just, I just see him as another player. But I think mm. a lot of people now want to beat him because of obviously the way he, he condones himself with his arrogance and yeah. his, you know, the proper yeah. villain. And I ain't got a problem with that. But you know, as, uh, um, sometimes he has gone over the over the the line, and our media who was in chat, he, he was very bad to him, and obviously he's been bad to me trying to beat me up and all that sort of stuff and it, it, yeah. it's 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 something you just don't don't want and um it is scary no. and um you know i'd like to see him get anywhere near you <laughs> well <laughs> uh yeah um so yeah so that that's that's the thing um so to you 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 think it's good to have a heel like like they're doing wrestling yeah you got you do mate every everything needs a villain and anything that gets a community or like a a game talked about more or publicity for and there's no such thing as bad publicity is there um no. and it's just a good thing for the for the sport and for for blood, blood. yeah so, yeah just I, I, don't be a dick about it yeah i mean trip i mean trip i just, just trips is there now um yeah trip was is another one who was real good but obviously the mml the, who? Lot, who's who's trip trip, who? trip yeah um, but unfortunately trip. a lot of the mml don't have a sense of humor and they, they didn't really like it um hmm. But Trippers was a fantastic heel, but again, people didn't like it, so they decided to hit on him. And, and, he, and he, yeah. uh, to me, I thought he played the heel how it should have been played, and I, I felt sorry for him because I thought, you know what, um, hmm. you know, he 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 should have uh, he should have carried on because he was good fun. But I suppose yeah. you're never gonna. How can you not like the Oracle? He is the Oracle, and he and he is <laughs> Chip's ace. Chip, I've, I've tried to get Chip to to start doing a fact of the day thing because I just want to listen to him. <laughs> I love his facts he comes out with and I love his stuff he comes out with. And you know, if I knew what he knew about Blood Bowl, I couldn't play it because I couldn't bear to think about what percentage I've got to pass in this or that. I just don't, I don't try out. He I is... Couldn't, the... couldn't do it. Oh, man, he, he knows the stats. He, he loves he loves yeah. the stats to their trip. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Like, and I hate uh... him even more. I hate him even more after his bullshit six-plus cage dive he's just done on me. <laughs> Yeah, Proper hate him even more. It's always, it's always a lucky booker, is that trip? I've told, I've it's a love him, hate, though. I tell it's you, it's a love hate, mate. If, love. I, if, I, if I could roll dice like Trip does, I'd, I'd be three time champion now. No problem. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I won't be sitting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I'll, I'll have emigrated to Miami or something like that if I had Trip's dice. Yeah. No problem. Well, I was but, actually wondering if he worked for Cyanide at one point. He, he probably could do, you know. Trippers probably could work for Cyanide. He's got a dice hack or something. His, his dice are as hot as ours wins. It is, yeah, yeah. I love him. I love Trip. He's great. Fact of the day, Trip. We need it. Yeah. I, I, the, the thing is, though, he, 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 the thing is, he does run away from Cass, though. He is scared of Cass. That is one thing. <laughs> he, he is How scared. Have got of, back onto him? Because mm. Trip is in the thing. So, and you know, so <laughs> <laughs> Trip, Trip, Trip likes his housewives. So you know, he's, he's got yeah, seven of them. Yeah, I've heard this. Um, and the thing is that the old workers are Australians as well, so you know that that's pretty good. So he gets extra income there, so he, bless him. But um, yeah, so there we go. So we, me and Bears have decided that heels are good for the game as long as they're, um, you know, yeah. done done right. I think um, basically. So I don't know if um, it's doing it in Twitch, mate, but it's cutting off every other couple of little words and that yours are cutting off. I don't know if it's doing it in Twitch or out, but uh, I don't think so. Just is it? Know. Am I coming through quite well on Twitch, guys? Please say yes, or I will be upset. So they'll say no now. 
Just but, every yeah. other every other word, mate. Every every three yeah. or four words, someone's well, calling. There you go. Um, now then, over the weekend, the the servers went down, and um, hmm. problem is, cyanide don't work. Um, cyanide don't work uh, weekends, and uh... no, no, it's a well-known <laughs> fact that French people do a three-day week. Yeah. So um, when we are speaking to people going, Barry, when is he going to come back on? I'm like, well, they don't really work weekends. And they're like, what do you mean they don't work weekends? How can they not work weekends? That's a disgrace. Um, what, what, mm. what, is you, what is your view on um, Synod not, have, not having anybody work in the weekends? Do you think they should? It's hard, mate. <laughs> yeah, they go... <laughs> I don't know what. What do you do? You can't tell someone how to run a company, and but they're they at the end of the day they're setting up a service for someone. Um, maybe they should have someone on call that can sort someone out. So basically, if they get an email saying the servers are down, someone can go and sort it out. So not necessarily someone who's working all the time, but at least somebody who can sort it out. Yeah, if you I, know mean, what I mean. I mean, the thing is, it's like what, what? A, oh, look at that! Necro wins. They beat Rainy Entertainment. It was Trips Nose what got beat. He kept that quiet. Oh, look at this. We'll have to start the show again. He's fourth now. He's not even top anymore. Who right. is? Trip. He, he lost. Oh, He's fourth. what is he doing? Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, Show's cancel over. Cancel everything. <laughs> cancel everything. He can't even get that right, Trip, can he? You know, he knows yeah. we're playing. He hasn't lost any players, has he? I don't know. But the thing is, right, he knows we're doing the show. He knows pole position. He was pole position. And while yeah. we've been doing the show, he's lost the top spot. I mean, come on, yeah. seriously. Hasht- we'd... Hashtag I'd... ruiner. I tell you what, we just can't get the staff, can we? That triperous. Always triperous. Mm. Yep. I don't know. So yeah, he's down to fourth now. Apparently, he had seven casualties against him. But there you go. Oh well, shock horror. He can't moan after the last game he's just played me in. He cannot moan. Trip, do not dare moan. So I'm just gonna look see who else is. Uh, there's just a few results going through there as well. Um, so I uh, did think about the weekends. What I was gonna say about Cyanide is people got to. F- forget that they're not microsoft they're not this big massive huge multi-billion pound company yeah that's what i mean yeah you know yeah. That, that that's the thing as much as frustrating it is there's you know it, it they're not that big of a company and we, we you know we should just give them a break you know it, it things happen on the yeah. old games and it's just Cost frustrating it's it it just it's just frustrating when it happens so you know they, they do work hard i know the work hard and tirelessly and i and obviously i'm behind the scenes to a certain extent and i see how much they yeah. they care about the game and they take people's oh, um, yeah. um views apart from trips and never take any notice of trip but yeah. um, the, the rest of the people they always take notice of and um you know they clearly it's... don't listen to blue screen problems well, I, I was speak to Duran I was speak to Duran about this and Duran says it's not just it's not really just a blood ball thing. Um he says the way Blood Ball should try and get round it is trying to get her like they did on the PC, like trying to sort out a way to reconnect. So if if you do get a blue mm. screen you can get back on like on the PC. Because you've got like six minutes or something on the yeah. PC. So I my, my P, I could turn my P, PC off, turn it back on and yeah. still be able to log back onto the game. That's what they need to do. If they can do that, yeah. then they w- even if you blue screens, there won't be an issue anymore because you will have enough time to get back on the game and that would be fantastic. Yeah. I don't know if they're looking into that or whatever because that's something... That the only do. problem with that, are you going to get idiots coming off the game and disappearing for six minutes because they can? I don't know. I don't think there's been an Stalling issue... Stalling and being idiots, do you know what I mean? It, it sort of brings that into into the well, play of it. the way I look at it is this. If it's a private league, they'll ban them. If it happens while... Uh, if it happens in the champion ladder, I'll tell you what, I'll be banning them. It won't be any... But then you how know, do you know they've done it? Oh, sorry, mate, I blue screened. Like, do you know what I mean? How do you know? Yeah, but the thing is, if you're saying to me that they're, they're taking like six minutes and then they're off six more minutes and then another six minutes and another, and mm. they're doing this all the time... You know, the thing is, after, after about the first two, people will probably contact us and say, oh, yeah. like, Benny, mate, this guy's taking the mic. I would then go and check it. Yeah, um, yeah. I might even stream it myself just to uh, get evidence yeah. um, and stuff like that. So there is a way, there would be a way around it. But to be honest, yeah. I think if it's in a private league, you're not going to get it. And if it's in the champion ladder, you probably, if you get it, they're going to be banned. Um, and the only place it could be is in the open ladder because it just that's like the wild wild west. Anything goes there. Um, yeah. But I I won't I won't worry about that. I think I think it would be monitored. 
and um, the punishment would be severe if we if we catch people doing that. Yeah. So I, w- I wouldn't worry like about a public that. public lashing. Yeah, yeah. Or, or I have to listen to yeah. Trip for 30 minutes, something like that. So, oh, uh, no, no, it's not that bad. It's is not it not? All oh, right, maybe not then. No, 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 no. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I, 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 I'm willing to give them the, the benefit of the doubt. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. I know that when the when they went down again, um, there was a lot of very grumpy cyanide people. They were not happy at all. And they said, you better get this mm. shit sorted now. We are not having this. And I was like, whoa, wow. Because they're usually pretty cool, the French. They don't usually lose the cool. And even they was like, look, you know, they was like really getting pissed I off. Don't know. I don't they know. Don't... I know a few few French people. Did you don't get angry French people? No. And they were getting... all the riots and everything that's going on. Fair enough, yeah. but that's a different thing, isn't it? Yeah, but they, you they don't were... get angry French. But they're too chilled out to get angry. Yeah. Um. You know the 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 thing is though they they was pissed off because you know people think that they don't care. They, they you, we get this boring thing like oh you got my money you don't care anymore blah 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 mm. you know that sort of thing. But they, they honestly do, and they were they were not happy. They do because they a company needs the customers. Yeah. Any company needs the customers. There's no point in pissing people off because they're not going to buy any more games you release. So yeah. they're not going to have that attitude, are they? They do no. what they can. They're a little company. Like you yeah. say, they are anywhere near anything else. and yeah. they, do, they do a good job. They do. The, the servers, do you know what? The servers have gone down for, what, a day and a half, was it? Yeah, yeah. about it's, that. It's, it's, get over it. It's, yeah. it's no big deal, is it? People die. <laughs> do you yeah. know what I mean? It's... Yeah. That's it, isn't it? I mean, the Xbox go came back up on... Go on a different game for a day, mate. Yeah, like we did. Uh, the Xbox came back up on Sunday, so God knows how that, what happened there, but they, they got yeah. it back Sunday night. It was the PS4. They had to wait until Monday morning, yeah. but it, it got resolved, and um, it is what it is. And we, there's nothing You've got to put about life issues into perspective, and if you're struggling life issue for that week is that Blood Bowl server has gone down for a day, then... Yeah, you've got nothing to yeah. worry about in life, really, have you? No, not really. Um, Frustrating, no... yes, but get on yeah. with it. Uh, surprise, Trip can chat after the beating I just handed him. Duran happy. Yeah, that's it. Waste all your good dice now, Duran. And um, I see why it says no sat easy mode. Well, yeah, they've got Trip can't play hard mode. <laughs> We know see, that. See, Wyatt, see, Wyatt talks a lot of sense. I really, that's why I like the guy. He talks sense. He says stuff that needs to be said. I love Wyatt. SC Wyatt is in that really close knit group. It's a really, it's an elite group of coaches who got knocked out of the playoffs by penalty kicks. So me and SC Wyatt, we, we're in that club. Nobody else is in that club yeah. apart from me and SC Wyatt. I need, so. I need a, I need a little bond with Wyatt. I need something, something that just me and Wyatt can have together. Yeah. So if he's if he's listening, he needs to figure some out. Yeah, absolutely. We um, might share the same birthday. We might, I don't know, summer. I'm sure. We I'm might sure have been we... with the same been with the same lady at one point. I don't know. Same skink, you know. But, um, mm. but yeah, I mean, you know, that that's what it is. What it is. But um, yeah. So um, yeah, willing to give Sana a break on that. You know, people got to remember that we don't, not, mate. Yeah, they're not we like don't. soft. Right then. Put, so. Let's put just... Put things in perspective, mate. That's all we yep. need to do. Nobody dad. Right then, so let's have a look at this champion ladder in season ten. We've had a look at the so called top team, the big frauds, the tripperous with his real entertainment who now fourth. Um yeah. I don't know if you've got your leaderboard up there, but is there any teams you would like to have a look at? Uh I'm just bringing it up now, matey, one second. Up. Wonder who the top orcs are. I have no idea, Durin. Probably someone top orcs. Very... Hmm. Don't know. Yeah, no, do I. Uh, I don't know. Let's pick a team. Let's be real boring and let's have a look at them dwarfs. Oh, you've been God. through them dwarfs yet? I ain't gone through Your any key. of them. Los, let's, have Los... a, let's have a nose at Yakitas. Okay. Dwarfs. And uh, I can hear the moans from the chat already. Yeah, who, that's, who... Why I've, that's why I've done it. Who, who got this guy on? Uh... Who don't who like looking at dwarf teams, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hate dwarfs. This is why I've done it. I hate them, and I know everybody else shares. Look at them. Look at all the stuff they start with. It's just boring. Yeah, but they aren't very quick. <laughs> no, but if there, if there was a, if there was a team that we could put a vote together to get kicked off Blood Bowl, it would be the dwarfs. I'd go with chaos. Oh, dwarfs, mate. And who go... manages to roll two strength stat ups as well? I mean, come on. Oh, oh, hey, you say that, but Stuntman DD, he, he stats up central, is, is Stuntman DD. Crikey. Oh, yeah. He does some at Dodge Aim. Yeah. You have Agility uh, 6 players spotted about all over the place. and Yeah. 
Tripper's the same runner's dad. I don't know what he's on about. He's got two runners there. I don't know. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, but, that um... is a boring ass. Let's go off that. Have we never said about that team? Boring. Not like that team at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've got to, we've got to look at positive. Now you've put it there, we've got to look at positives and, uh, yeah, and, we do. and weaknesses. I can't, you know, Yuki to have a right. Yeah, mate, he's 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 got a good spatter in a guard. Um, got some nice mighty blow in there. Obviously, enough tackle everywhere anyway. Yeah. Um, can't grumble at two strengths. That ups on your long beards at all. Um, no. I wouldn't do... like to play this team with my lizards. I know they're slow, but I don't like tackle, mate. I just no. don't. Um, uh, yeah, he's a good, he's a good team. Yeah, Yuki is a good coach. Uh, the the only thing well I'm looking at here is I see his team and then I look at his TV TV value. It's sixteen ninety. It's almost seventeen hundred. That is a lot of TV yeah, for what huge. he's got. I can yeah. I can I can appreciate he's got two strength upgrades. So obviously that's yeah, only, that, that's hundred. He's only got one troll there. slayer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but 14 rerolls, dwarfs are very reliable. Um, why you would need 14 rerolls, I don't know. He's got two cheerleaders. I don't like that. You might as well just keep with the one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, to me, to me, there you can shave off 120k just from getting rid of a reroll in your uh, your two cheerleaders. Um, well, which takes the, you down to sort of a. The team rerolls. The team rerolls only cost half. Even though you pay hundred k, they only cost half on your TV. So yeah, even then, sorry, yeah, if, if you take the cheerleader as well, that's sixty k off. That gives you sixteen thirty. Yeah. It's a lot better than you know sixteen ninety. Yeah. But I mean, like I say, Yukito knows how to play dwarfs. It's very good. Um, he's well, got yeah, a... I mean, look where he is. You can't yeah. you can't shake it where he's on the leaderboard. Um, yeah. He's, I mean, he's got he's got I've magic played him done. before, I think, but but not not his dwarfs. I played him in other seasons. Yeah. Um, so... So 12 wins, 3 draws, 2 losses. So he knows what he's doing. He beat up some Chaos yeah. Dwarfs last time out. Um, he's actually got mm. a draw against um, Storm and Didi there as well. He drew against the top Nagel, I think, as well. So he's, he's played some very good uh, teams. He's beaten yeah, yeah, um, he's beaten Gimlik as well. So, you know, you can't say he's had an easy uh, run either. So that makes it even more impressive. Yeah. So. So there we go. So what next team do you want to have a look at? I don't know what we probably should, now that Tripp's not top anymore. Have a look at the team that's top, really, shouldn't we? The Blues and Yellows. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is official. He does some crazy teams as official. Um, let's have a look. He likes Dwarfs. This is official. And um, uh, let's have a look. Again, another high TV, 1910. Oof, there we go. <clears throat> I'm just, uh, my, my uh, thing is just froze at the minute, mate. I'm just... Uh... Okay, well, um, I'm it's, 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 he's got 15 players. Again, he's got a strength increase, so that's always good on a, a case dwarf. Uh, Duran says, I never understand how he gets good records. It's, it's, I've always said, and uh, official must hate me, but I always say with official, he's a bit like a daisy. Some days he does, some mm. days he doesn't. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's when he's on a going date, he is good, but when yeah. things start going wrong, you can manipulate it, um, yeah. and 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 that's it's, basically. Mate, it's a good, it's a good team. Um, I mean, both centaurs just frustrate the crap out of me. Um, I, I hate him. I absolutely hate him. Um, he's got he's got one with blodge. He's got one with break tackle, mighty blur. Um, I do like this team. I do. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't like to play against him, to be honest. Yeah, it, it, uh, he's um, he's when on top of the game, he is good. Yeah, I agree with Trippers. He's one of those coaches. Like I said, some days he does, some days he don't. But if he's on a going day, he can beat anybody. Um, yeah. But it, it's a solid team, and he's he's been against a lot of the killy teams as well. So he's lost a few people on yeah, the way. Yeah, but it it keeps it keeps going. It is. Um, yeah, but. Do you know Relentless. what? Losing losing a Chaos Dwarf blocker ain't bad. If you buy another one, the start with decent skills anyway. Do you know you're not starting with just a plain ass? Nothing, are you? No. Even losing a couple of them, your team ain't damaged, your team ain't bollocked. Um, he's got enough cash to replace two of them straight away anyway, so it's... Yeah. <sighs> I think the stage he's got to now, I don't think it matters if he loses players too much. Um, he's still going to have a decent team at the end of it. I mean, this guy's got some impressive wins. He beat Demented, who I'm a big fan of. He beat his Wood Elves 1-0, so he even stopped the Wood Elves from scoring, so that's impressive. Yeah, that Alcohol is. Alcohol Hooligans, good. Group, 
groupie who you love, your best mate groupie, he's beat him a few times. He's beating, oh. he, <laughs> he's beating Balding, Jin Lizzie's, he's beat the top lizard team as well, 2-0. Um, you know, he's got some big wins there. Just, he's beaten yeah. Team Rocket, who was a very good Skaven team, 2-0. He couldn't beat the Great White Sharks, though, so hey, hey, he tried it twice, never beat me. Um, <laughs> he beat the top Necro, 2-0. Uh, he's beaten Dwarf Troopers, another top Case Dwarf team. So he has played a lot of very good coaches and won most of them. Yeah. So, you know, he has a very, very impressive record. And like I said, it's a team I wouldn't want to play against. Yeah, um, true, yeah. So uh, good luck to him is what I've got I mean, to say. Speak, speaking of stat-ups, we might as well have a look at your team because I don't think you're doing too bad on stat-ups, are you? Um, great White Shark. Um, let's have a look. I don't know why I mean, I'm looking I, I, at the table. I, I pray to get an Agi 4 skin, and it just never happens. And yeah, you're rolling with two Agi 4 beastmen. No, one's a case warrior, mate. They're both not oh, both. Mate, people. that's just wrong. <laughs> it's okay. just wrong. There we go. Let's have a look at And I'm, I'm, I'm not in this team, which is wrong. Mate, you die all the time. <clears throat> so, and to be fair, I, none of these players I've named, apart from Lord Jagonius, none of those are actually coaches. Um, this is a team mm. that has no coaches in it. Um, yeah. But anyway, what do you think of the team? You, you're, you're the one who's uh, telling us your expert opinion. Mate, I love it. I don't. I mean, I'm not just saying it because it's you and I'm talking to you because I'd slag you off to your face if I needed to. Yep, <laughs> you uh, would. Mate, it's a great team. You've got a good balance of claw. You need some guard. Um, you've got three. I know maybe a bit... Like you say, you lack on tackle, but where do you give tackle? Do you... <laughs> What do you do next? What, what do you sacrifice for your tackle? Um, you've given it to a couple of well, a Chaos Warrior and a Beastman of the last three level ups. You've given tackle, haven't you? So you yeah you're addressing that. Um, I can't see how wrong with the team, but apart yeah. from the fact you don't like uh, you don't like minnows, do you? No, I, I think hate it minnows. needs a nice big dirty ass minnow. Don't like minnows. I mean, I I, uh, I think three three games ago, two of my guard pieces got killed, so that's why there's less guard. But yeah, it, it, yeah. Uh, the way I've done with Chaos is I, I built them how I wanted to. I wanted some claw, and then I want guard, and I want to tackle just to round it up. Um, like I said, someone says drop bench. I won't drop bench. Um, I'll go over 30 because I want to be fouling. I want to be stamping. I want... And the thing is, my, my, my team always get injuries and, and knock out and never come back, so I need the I need the extra bench. And as soon as I've gone to 30, they have done a lot better. Um, yeah. Durant says agility, for war, agility warrior, I just threw a, a bit in my mouth. Do you not like Agility 4 Warriors? I love him. He, he really does good, especially if my opponent's got a wizard. I'll make sure he gets the ball, because with his armor 9, he's more likely to take a lightning bolt to the face than my beast. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah. so no, yeah. No, it's a good team, good balance as well. I like the fact he's got dodge and block. Um, it's good, mate. Yeah, it's good. The, the only frustrating thing is I did um, basically lose two games to blue screen, so I was very annoyed at yeah. um so 19 wins 11 draws five losses should be 21 wins 11 draws three losses but unfortunately i yeah can't have that so i've got to go with what i've got um you need some dirty ass piling on yeah people keep people keep saying about that i'm i'm at the uh philosophy though that i am i like my players to be on on the feet and uh, i think i need guard more than piling on um, I, I'm, I'm debating. I mean, obviously, I, I, Durin, obviously, he says, do not play this team. They are a top spot. There's no reason to play them. Only bad things can happen. Mm. And I'm at that point now where I'm thinking, yeah. you know what? I've got three tackle, three guard. I've got about three, four players who can level up after one game in the playoffs. So, you know, I'm at that point mm. now where, uh, do how much more do Leave I want to play them? If you, yeah. But the thing Leave is, I don't, you have to. the thing is that I don't think 19 wins is going to be good enough. Um, I think I'm going to, have, going to have to play some more, but um, we will see. Duran thinks agility four players are trash. Um, I I thought that as well, <laughs> Duran with Case Warriors, and I thought for once, go on, I'll try it, and I'm so glad I did because he's been immense. The amount of times people have gone into my cage or leaped into my cage or or whatever, and it's been two red dice against them. So yeah. and obviously he's blodge as well. So apart from a double pow, oh they've got a strip yeah. ball. Um, you know, tackle, 
So there you go. What right time then. to look at one more team? Well, let's have How's a look at done? let's have a look at Duran's team. Otherwise, right. he will he will be very upset. I don't know what it's all hands they're called. All hands. Let me have a look for them. No, he likes his orcs. Does he? Yeah, he likes orcs. Like he likes likes playing trip for easy wins. Seven twenty. Yeah, seventeen eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. at this. Sixteen players. What is all that about? Gimmick orcs. Yeah, that's right. Crazy. Okay. Is is it's a gimmick up? I think. Uh, let's have a look. There's no Bezo in that team. Bezo. There's no Bezo there. I know, there's a, mate. I know. There's a VG. I'm upset. I, don't, I don't think Duran doesn't know me. I'll, I'll let him off. He doesn't know me. I, th I think there should be Bezo in there. You know. Um, he doesn't know me, mate. How does he not know you? How can he not know that's one of the greatest lizard players ever? That's shocking. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, all hands. Right. What's Thanks all? For that. What's uh, all hands? I don't get it. You'll have to explain to me. O only hand skills taken. Right, okay. So mighty blow is a hand skill. Yeah, fists... block, mighty blow, agility. Apart from the guard, which is a lie. Yeah, guard. Accurate. Your hands. That's more like an eye thing, isn't it? Accurate. Eye coordination. to. No, because it helps you passing, doesn't it? So using your hands. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it myself. I, I like, like the, it. I like the the frenzy one. That was funny. But they all had frenzy. That was. That <laughs> I didn't was, see that one. Sadly. Oh, it, Durin does some really good ones. I mean, the one he's in at the moment. It, um, what he's in the place with? None of them have taken mighty blow. What is hilarious? So they're like, nah, we don't need it, and they're doing really, really well. <laughs> so um, his teams are very good. Uh, what, what do you like about this team? What don't you like about the team? The thing I don't like about the team is sixteen players. You're AV now. Why do you yeah, need sixteen I was, players? Yeah, I was going to. Say the same, mate. Sixteen players, but do you know what? He's having fun, and that is what this game is about. Yeah. Um, he's doing something different. All hands, hat off to to doing stuff like this. This is what the game needs. Stuff like this. It, if you get to a point in Blood Bowl where you're not enjoying yourself and you're getting annoyed with it, take a step back, do something like this. Hats off to him. Yeah, um, and and it's a, good, it's a good team anyway. Without yeah. doing the all hands thing, but great, mate. Like yep. it. I like to see it. I like to see people having a laugh. Um, I don't like to see a goblin that's got a few level ups. Something's obviously gone clearly wrong there. But yeah, <laughs> everything it's... else fantastic. Yeah. And it's it's a good team anyway. It's a team you can win games with as well. It's not it's not a bad side at all considering what he's doing with it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's he's just beating up um, trip. Oh no, that was with his necro. That was with. Um, yeah. But. Um, I, th I mean, Duran's obviously one of the more bigger and more popular streamers. People love watching the, his funny teams. I always love seeing his orc teams, um, and I always hope they do well. Um, and and he, and he and he obviously deserves his 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 run in the playoffs. And you know, he's got a good chance of going through this round as well. And if he does, I'll be cheering him on all the way to the final. Um, but yeah, you're right. You need you need these fun teams, and um, you know, people. We'll come and watch teams like this because they're, they're, they're a gimmick. Um, you know, people just 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 like stuff like this. It's, you know, because we get wrapped up with all this seriousness. We need fun. We need gimmicky stuff like what Durin does, and Durin yep. does it every season. And, and, and full credit to him. And um, yeah. you know, uh, it, it's good. Um, I, I hope we don't see kicking this team because that would be a bit of cheating. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 a nice thing a team. It's a gimmick team. Like I said, the only thing I think sixteen players. That's a lot of players. That that's raising your TV quite high. Yeah. But hey, you should never run yeah. out of players. You'll always have them players on the pitch. Um, yeah, but I mean, you've got a massive armor as well. You don't need this many players with such a high armor. Uh, the chick stickers is the name of the stadium. <laughs> um, now wins five. <laughs> now wins five draws one loss. So that's a fantastic record. Um, it beat Grooby last time out, so jolly good. He loves playing Grooby like you do. Um, who mm -hmm. was his loss to? Let's see if we can find who beat him. I'm trying to find out. Alice Cooper. I think they're Necro, so the Necro team beat him. Yeah. Fantastic. That's great news, Durin. Durin's bought Legendary Edition today, so things like um, Kislev, Goblins, Halflings, um, hopefully he'll be starting to do some of them. I'd like to see Durin play Kislev. He'd be a pain in the backside playing Kislev, although Goblins would be fun as well. But yeah, that's fantastic, Durin. I'll be uh, certainly watching uh, your streaming stuff like that. Yep. Great team, Durin, and get a Bezo in it next time.
Yeah, you'll love him. He'll last about a game or two, and then you'll. Be I'll be. Injured. I'll be honoured to be in your team. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. So that that that's some of the teams we've had a look at. We'll have a look at some more um, next week as well. Sale on Blood Bowl two on PSN this week, everyone. Well, there you go. Doom's telling you that, so you can get it cheaper. Um, some teams I'll have a look at next week um, is Apple's the Skaven. He's he's just got mm. a, a mighty blow claw Skaven Stone Vermin and a mighty blow claw block Rat Ogre as well. So he is becoming a bit of a deadly. Um, Enforcer, he's as deadly as my yeah. chaos. So uh, that's a guy hopefully to I'll watch be, out for. Uh, hopefully, I'll be up there next week. You maybe have a look at my team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to get up there. You got to get up there. I mean, where are you now? No, uh, twenty summit. Yeah, you. you Twenty-six. You gotta, I mean, you, the thing is, you've got Se Wyatt, who I've just cheekily real. Look at that, he sneaked into top spot lizards. Yeah, so you yeah, got, mate, yeah. You, you got Se Wyatt. We'll look at your. Um, we'll look at your team on Sunday, Se Wyatt. Um, so we've got SC Wire, we've got Balding Guys up there as well, and we've got Freeman. Them three with the three, what, fought out until the bit tried to go with them, and again, you'll try and go with them again. Uh, so, like I said, losses aren't that bad these days. So, as, as I stressed, yeah. I think it was on the Xbox, if you lose a few, don't worry about it. They're not that bad. Just keep trying to win, yeah. obviously. So, there you go. So, yeah. we now come to the most important part of the show, the Battle of the Consoles. Now that the PS4 crew, <laughs> the PS4, <laughs> The PS4 crew, yeah. The PS4 crew, you may, you, may, you, you, may, you, you may be, yes, but you may be uh, losing this one. The, uh, the, uh, the, the, the I play this game for fun. I know nothing about any of it. The, the, um, the Xbox team this week scored 4 out of 10. So, you know, it, it's, it's gettable. Now, um, the PS4 crew, you're doing well, lads. You're doing well. I think we've got it up to, I think, uh, PS4 Team 6, Xbox One 3, soon to be 4. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, Bezo might be, you know what, Bezo, he might be one of those hustlers. They might be saying he doesn't what know. Have got, what have I got to beat? 4. Out of 10. Yeah, but you've only got 60 yeah, seconds. Yeah, not a chance. So, not a chance. you know, I'm just trying to find not out where I put my questions, so you might get away with this. I did. I did write them down somewhere. Unless the questions are something like, "What is my name?" Um, what race begins with L? Otherwise, nah. Well, we'll see. Right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the. Uh, <laughs> anybody want to predict how many he's gonna get out of ten? Right. I think. I think he'll get zero. Good, I think he'll probably maybe get. I don't know. I'm gonna one. give myself credit. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself credit and say one. <laughs> right. Let me get a timer ready. And then obviously basically what happens as soon as I ask you the first question, you've got six seconds to answer as many as you, you can. If you don't know, just pass or say something stupid like Trip does mm -hmm. and you'll be okay. So I'm just going to get the countdown timer on now when it decides to... Oh my way, it takes so long. There we go. Have you had Set. somebody that scored zero? Uh, no, I don't think we have to be honest. But um, oh, like great. I said, here we go. I'm, are you great. ready... Are you ready, Bezo? Um, yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. How much does Vampire Count uh, Star Player Ego cost? Ego. Mm -mm -mm. Not a clue, mate. I'm going to go for 230. Wrong. When does the Champion Ladder League, league finish? Ooh. Uh, 29th of November. Correct. Who is second in the league as it stands at the moment? Oh, man. Uh, Trips just lost first, don't he? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, can't remember. It begins with I. Um, I Media. Uh, that's the name of the coach. Yeah, um, it was the team I wanted. What? What is the oh, name? What is the name know, of? Mate. What is the name of the top case team? Top case team is Great White Shark. Yep. Um, who won last season's final? And this is your last question. Who won last season's final? The coach. Ooh. How long have I got left? Uh, oh, you, you're out. You're out. It, it is a good friend of yours. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, Obviously well, trip. the reason to be, before the Xbox lot um, uh, start saying shenanigans, he was even if he got that right, he wouldn't have got 
he wouldn't have beat you. No, I wouldn't have done um, that. So you got two right. Um, yeah, the yeah, champion man. ladder is on the 29th, and obviously the top case table at the moment is the Great White Shark. Um, how much does yeah. um, the star player Igo cost? It's 120k. I never really get the point of that guy. I really don't. Um, I, I just don't. Um, the the other one who was the second in the uh, in the team, you know, on the table at the moment, season one. ten. It is now, but it changed, didn't it, because of Trip. It's all Trip's fault. But if you said Barcelona or whoever it was before then, because it was actually the Blue and Yellows who was second. You know, when you said about right. it. So, hey-ho. Yeah. Um, and the who won last season's final, it was Gimlick. Game won it, yeah, of course it was Oh, Gim. poor Gim. Yeah, it's, I it's, just froze. It's, it's pressure, mate. It's pressure, it is, I just froze. It is, it, it is. So, the Xbox, congratulations, you win this, this round. Oh, but, mate, I got... I got two more than I thought I would. So you did, mate. I predicted one. So to get two, <laughs> I just turn up. I just turn up and play Blood Bowl. Is is all I do. You know, um, I I had a really good one as well about Tripras, and you, you almost got to that. Um, what was it? Um, finish the sentence. Trip knows everything. So he was close. Trip knows best. That it's that's always a famous saying to do with Trip. Trip knows best, <laughs> apparently. Apparently, hey, hey, look, I'm you're not as good as the postman, but hey, what can I say? Anyway, so that is that is it. Um so the Xbox, well done, you you get yourselves back in the race. It's now six votes to the PS4 crew. So the PS4, you don't need to sweat yet. So all the pressure will be on the uh, PS4 next week. I'm trying to get some Mandidi. He was supposed to be on this Sunday. But um, unfortunately, because of the server crash, we couldn't get him. So I'm going to try and get him on for next Sunday. If not, if you want to be on the uh, the show, <coughs> Durham, um, then be, uh, just let me know and we'll get you on. Um, S-E-Y, another one, you'd be more than welcome. So um, it's open to anybody. If I'm going to get Trip on the show, I'm going to let anyone on the show. So that's us done. Um, thanks mm. to my thanks to my guest, Bezo, for finally coming yeah, on the thank show. Thank you very and much for, us. Uh, for having me. I hope I'm not disappointed. No, nope, you've done extremely well, and um, it's uh, on on Halloween as well. So hopefully there wasn't too mm-hmm. many uh, gremlins in the uh, audio um, tonight. But um, yeah, so yeah. We'll, be, we'll be back on next Sunday, where hopefully we'll have had a few results of what what, what went on in the playoffs, and obviously we'll have a look at some of the other teams as well. And uh, that has done. So thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping us company in the yeah. chat. And thanks very we, much. Uh... Uh, no problem, Bezo. Thanks for joining, and we will see you all next week. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.